Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a love reading. So let's begin. Ooh, sevens and sevens and sevens. So I'm going to be looking at your energy collective, your person's energy, and then shared energies that you have. And we might even look at some messages from your person. I am um, tuning into a collective energy. I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a reading where I tune into your specific energies, uh, you can schedule an appointment with me. The um, link to schedule that appointment is in the description box below. So collective. In the past, you were in the energy of daydreams and decisions. Seven of cups. A lot of options. Some of those options in the past. Um, oh, were emotionally immature options. Maybe people who um, weren't comfortable with them with their emotions. People who are very insecure. People who brought a lot of disappointment. Another option that you had in the past was um, a lack of stability. Uh, fleeting success. Lack of resources. All right. There's something I'm getting a pattern already collective in your past. There was a lot of emotional, um, not enough, not enough uh, emotional support, as well as not uh, physical stability, whether that's your finances, your job your actual health i'm getting for some of you it it there was a lack of physical health it feels like it it feel what i'm getting is that there was this lack of emotional support that went on for long enough that it create it affected your health, it affected your work, maybe your ability to work, and affected your actual stability and safety and security in your physical environment. It's like you you spent uh, so much time in emotional instability, not being not finding, not receiving emotional fulfillment for so long that, you know, like here, emotional loving connection and going without for so long that it affected lower chakras, your ability to believe that you could create stability, your base chakra, an ability to Like it, it, it affected your health, made it difficult to work. Whew. All right. And so in present time collective, you're in the energy of awaiting results. Seven of pentacles. So we've got cups and pentacles so far. Cups and pentacles. Oh, a sword in reverse. It looks like 
what you've gone through in the past, this emotional manipulation and a lack of stability now in present time has created a, um, an inner power uh, desire to, it's kind of like you've, you're making sure to protect yourself, creating boundaries for yourself. Feels like a, um, a defensiveness. guardedness. It's creating um, a lack of inner joy. Getting the energy that this um, There's a mirroring going on here. There's someone else's energy, someone else in your energy collective who is feels like whoever in the past created this manipulative environment that was very destabilizing that created um, the lack of stability and maybe even physical um, unwellness because of um, their emotional immaturity and insecurity. There's something about um, it's, it feels like they feel really smug and they enjoy you being off kilter. It makes them feel more powerful. Feels like they, they lack inner joy. I'm getting a real bully energy. They lack inner joy. They lack control over their life, their emotions. Maybe even as a child, this person in the household they grew up in, they, a parent or their parents were very controlling and there was a lack of ability to control their environment. Maybe their parent or parents um, were also this way, very manipulative, very controlling. And so when this person left that environment, they never wanted to feel that lack of control again. They didn't want to be bullied anymore. They didn't want to be controlled. Someone was really smug with them. So I'm getting this ego quite possibly. Possibly it might be more of a masculine energy, maybe a father who is very... Um, doesn't have to be, but I'm, I'm reading this as a, a very masculine energy. He was so controlling. And so this person, when they left that environment, they were like, I, I will not be controlled again. But instead of healing from that connection, from that feeling insecure, destabilized, instead of healing from this, they, they became, they stepped in. Well, I definitely don't wanna be controlled anymore, so I will be controlling. I am smug. I find joy when someone else is, is not doing as well as I am. Feels like that's what um, 
there's just a, this arrogance and smugness that's coming with this energy. Oh. Uh, this person from your past might be with someone else. Um, they're with a, a new person who is also insecure and jealous. It feels like they're a really good match in that, in the sense that, um, They both have a, a perception of a way of being, which is a very inverted way of being, um, not upright and upstanding, not healing, but they both work in this very insecure energy, working to control and manipulate people around them. They enjoy spilling other people's cups of fulfillment out. It's like they, they, they enjoy bringing people down to their level because it gives them like a momentary feeling of I'm better than by causing, by destabilizing others, they feel more stable by lowering people's vibration. They, lower than theirs, then their higher, their vibration is higher, they're more stable. There's just a lot of games going on. They might um, back up why it's okay that they they do they behave in this way they might be um that's the way they're the business whatever business they're in that might be how that type of business or literally the business the corporation the job that they have that's that's how people do that there's some kind of structure that, that is giving them permission. Maybe it's a religion, some kind of religious practice. They, they feel very bit like it's not just them. It, the people around them are doing this. It's a whole set of energy. It's, a, it's permitted to be ruthless, to be the most powerful, to knock people down that are below you. Um, so they've, they've given themselves permission to behave in this way because it feels like everybody around them does that as well. Ooh. and they they refuse to change there's just they can't change right now in this energy everybody has a, can change but right now there's so much resistance to change and they're holding on to this very toxic way of being that is that creates stagnation and decay because they never heal from this they never look at what happened in their childhood that created these beliefs that the only way of being is being on top where you shove everyone down and you're a bully or you're on the bottom and you get crap rolls downhill there are plenty of other ways of being in relationship but it feels like they're very stagnated and stuck in this. And it's creating um, a lot of inner turmoil 
it takes a lot of effort to keep lying, keep lying to yourself, keep lying to others. You can't be this manipulative and mean outright. It has to be done very covertly. And it looks like I, there are so many secrets and lies during the day, those lies and those secrets might make them feel powerful. And at night, being that imbalanced, being that um, deceptive comes back on them. At night, they have to face the guilt and shame of, of what they keep creating more and more of in their environment. Your higher self collective is in success and growth. Eight of, eight of wands. Your higher self is saying, hey, let's move towards success. Let's focus on finding success. Let's, let's look. Interesting, the energy, your energy is not looking over at your person's energy. Your person is looking the other way. So I'm kind of curious about that as it's laid out here, as we keep going. If you even, if you know this person or what's going on. <laughs> so it looks like your higher self is saying, let's, let's focus on what it is that you do want to create, what you do want to bring in, because it looks like what you want to bring in is joy and harmony and a connection, a, a long-term connection, community, a place where you belong. Your challenge right now is third eye chakra. Third eye chakra is right here. It's your ability to see clearly. Right now, your challenge is disharmony, imbalance. This person from your past is still in your energy, whether you see you see them or not. There's their energy is still in your space. It feels like you have worked to detach from this energy. Feels like they created some trauma bonds. It also feels like you don't have, you don't share the same values. You might have at one point, but either they were lying, they um, were mirroring you to you in the beginning to pull you in because you can't start out being a bully because nobody would want to attach to that type of energy. So there was some type of love bombing phase where you felt really amazing because they were giving you all that you wanted and needed. And then they start withholding, pushing the boundaries, pushing, seeing how much of you you'll let go of so they can be a bully so they can pour, pour what's in your cup out and watch you crumble so they feel better Whew, this is a love reading all right 
So collective, your person's energy is in teach or in the past, your person's energy was teach. Your person in the past had a lot of celebration and happiness and community friendships. Your person in the past had a rebirth, an inner calling, an awakening. They went through a situation where they, it feels like they had a life. It didn't go the way they expected and they let go of that life and are in the past, they started moving towards that, that new beginning. Nice. Your person's energy in present time is strengthening bonds. Ace of pentacles, blessings, opportunities. Your person is receiving blessings in present time. Feels like your person has strengthened bonds with themselves, with source, in such a profound way that they're now able to create that in the 3D people creating really strong bonds, loving bonds. Yes, two of cups. So not only your person in, in present time has ace of pentacles and two of cups. They have a blessing. They have a partnership, a connection, a, a mutual give and take. I can feel tuning into your person's energy. There's just, there's been a lot of healing there in this. Um, um, it just feels more balanced, healed, grounded. Their vibration is, is, pretty high by pretty high vibin. Now this is interesting. Your energy collective is as the cards are spread out. Your energy is looking this way. Their energy is here and their energy is looking this way. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you don't know each other. You definitely are not looking at each other, looking towards each other. Your person in present time, they've got clear boundaries. They're very direct with their communication. They're independent, very perceptive, and um, the truth, your person's energy very much in the truth. They're in this energy of coming clean. Coming clean from self-deceit, coming clean from deception. There is a little bit that they're holding back. There's, I mean, everybody has secrets. What's interesting is the energy of keeping secrets. That's the energy they are looking at you. So there is some kind of secret here.
feels like the seeker is around their inner feelings. It looks like they also, they're um, guarded against emotional manipulation. So they're keeping their emotions intact. Hmm. All right. Your person's higher self is in the energy of believe and succeed. Six of wands. Victory. Public victory. Moving towards fulfillment and success. What's interesting is your that your person's challenge right now is five of wands, challenging times. So first comes the five of wands, challenging times, difficulty, struggle, competition. And then comes the six of wands, which is victory and success. Very public recognition. Your person right now is finding balance and peace and harmony. Something has been, there's been a lot of imbalance in your person's past. And it feels like they are all about moderation, meaning, finding meaning, finding purpose, harmony, balance. The challenge that ooh, your person doesn't want to be an option. Your person doesn't um, they they don't want to be an option and they don't want to create fantasy. They don't want an illusion. They're not wanting someone or something just to divert them off of their path. It feels a bit confusing what's, what's going on. There's a, a bit of confusion. There are a lot of options. Lots of it feels like infinite choices and you know how when you think you want infinite choice look at that right on my heart space <laughs> um you think you want infinite choices but having any choice you want could be very overwhelming all right, so shared energies between you and your person collective are both share the energy of observe. Looks like you're looking at things from a, a different point of view. Seeing yourself from a different point of view, different perspectives, being willing to, being brave enough to look at yourself from a different point of view, being willing to open that heart space. You both, um, feels like there's this, um, things have taken a lot longer than both of you expected in life, in healing, and finding a, a healthy connection. Someone's, res there. it feels like they're, both of these people, collective and your person are resistance to, to seeing, get the feeling both you and your person are, are searching and searching 
and trying to find and it's kind of like they're missing something. Both you and your person collective are um, releasing pain. Both of your, you and your person are, are recovering and, and moving on. You both are really hard on yourselves. You both share the energy of detach. Both of you are, are releasing from past heartaches. Both of you are releasing from situations where you felt out in the cold, where there was no growth, where there wasn't a place for you. You weren't welcome. Both of you are, are wanting to release to let go. Both of you are sharing a tower moment. There's a, a sudden change, chaos, an awakening. Something both of you were unwilling to see and accept. Both of you are having towers. About something, lies, something of a tower was built on lies, on misconceptions, beliefs that no longer serve. get the feeling that both of you feel very differently about the tower. I mean, both of you, I mean, sudden change is, is painful. The tower happens. The tower comes when you've been given opportunity after opportunity to see things clearly, to see the truth, to make changes that are in your best interest. But when you stay and stay in something and refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge the, the foundation that's on sand that doesn't support the tower, then eventually the tower crumbles. What I love about the tower is that whenever I have a tower moment, Afterwards comes a, a great healing, great new insights, the pain of seeing something that you were unwilling or unable to see. The tower, you're able to see it clearly. And so there's a lot of pain. But then afterwards you realize so glad that tower happened. I'm so glad I'm, I'm not trying to keep rebuilding this tower on a, a foundation that's sinking. So both of you are sharing the energy of inspiration, new ideas. You're freeing your spirit you're realizing that you have limitless potential. There's some excitement and potential. You both are, have created some freedom for yourselves. You're both in the energy of share the love, three of cups. Celebration, coming together. Feels like a lot of fun.
feels like both of you have a, a desire to forgive, to move on, to reconcile with the difficulties from your past, to stop resenting the past. And both of you are completing a circle, a cycle. Both of you are wanting fulfillment and achieving fulfillment. One or both of you are, are traveling, might be traveling. Feels like a, a celebration of life, a real arrival, wholeness. And also right now, it feels like both of you might be um, in a very self-care mode, taking care of yourself, really making sure that you're filling your own cups. There's something um, going on in both your environments that are making you a little insecure. I get the feeling that this love and celebration and new beginnings, like you're bringing a lot of, both you and your person are bringing this like high vibrational, joyful energy. And there's some kind of energy that I'm seeing that when you're, you're in this high flying place and somehow you, it, you have been kind of living in the past. And so your vibration goes up, you feel really good. And then you have so much energy in the past, so much time thinking about the past, things that were unfulfilling about the past, things that were disappointing, people who were disappointing, maybe relationships and connections that were disappointing in the past. And when you hit that high vibration, there becomes this nostalgic reaction that yeah, this feels really good. I wish it would have happened with this person. I wish I, it's like triggering this happiness and joy is triggering. It feels like you, you want it, that happiness and joy, but there's a, a a fixed view of, but I want it to come from this person. I want it to come from someone, this person that it hasn't come from. I want it to come out of this situation. It's a very fixed viewpoint of where this joy and satisfaction needs to come from. And it feels like both of you are um, working your way through that, you know, do you appreciate that joy and that fulfillment and, and learn to let go of an attachment of who and where it comes from and just appreciating that you've created or co-created wonderful, joyful, loving scenarios. There's a lot of pining going on for something in the past, someone in the past. If that person in the past could and wanted to share that joy and that loving energy, if they were resonating at the same vibration, if it was meant to be, they would be there co-creating that joy. They're not. Maybe it's not about that person 
that situation that you need it to come from that person and instead an appreciation of it's really a, a vibration you're looking for a frequency a frequency of love and safety and security and friendship and love and caring and high vibrational joyful energy maybe not being attached to who who it's coming from but being open to being curious about where this energy can stream from and does stream from. So anyway, all right, collective. Oh, wait, let's, let's do messages, shall we? Mm. Some messages, it's the hidden truth, divine and masculine and divine feminine. Let's see what your person would like to share with you. I want you back. So it does sound like you know this person. I admire you. I find you so attractive. I'm not over you. Interesting. I'm getting, I want you back and I'm not over you. feels like the energy of both of you actually sharing with the energy of the past, whoever this past connection is for both of you. There's a, a missing of that connection. The I find you so attractive and I admire you definitely feels like your person I can't be with you. Maybe your person doesn't feel they can be with you because they're still attached to someone in the past or they know that you are attached to someone in the past. I wonder how you feel. Maybe hmm, that does go with um, your person's present time energy. They don't want to deceive themselves. They're keeping a very strong, clear boundary. They're concerned about emotional manipulation. Your intellect arouses me. So you guys have a lot of in common. Maybe good conversations. So, all right, there we go. Collective, that's your love reading. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for joining. Bye.